Hello there again. Now it's time for another project. I bought this uh, ball turning tool from Hemingway. Quite nice kit. Uh, good plans. I've already made the main parts. The body that will fit to the tool post. I also made the head and the holder for the cutting tool. What's left to do now is uh, a little nut. I also need some stop nuts and some other small parts too. The nut I'm going to make is located in that hole, like this. It's a little brass nut. So, well, let's make it. I placed the brass bar in the indexing fixture, drilled a 5mm hole and uh, tapped it. Unfortunately I don't have any quill feed on the S era so I have to uh, tap by hand. And the feed screw seemed to fit quite alright. Milling down the brass bar to correct size and uh, then using a ready mill 6mm to make it fit inside the sliding part of the head. And now turning the nut to the correct size, parting it off and uh, uh, turn the other side to the correct dimension, 6mm, so it will fit into the head. Okay, let's see if the nut fit into the to the head. Seem to go quite well there. Placed a little gib as well. Now it's not tight, and because uh, there is no bolts for that yet, but uh, it seemed to work quite well. So, next step is to uh, Drill a couple of holes. Five holes required in this block. One center screw to prevent the gib from moving sideways. Uh, one uh, for the locking screw and uh, three for the grab screw to the gib. Okay. 
For this operation I use my Mats and a Settlund milling machine and I have a quill feed on that one so it's okay to power tap. I had to make uh, a couple of small pins between the gib and the grub screw. It's two and a half millimeter brass uh, and it's uh, counter to 60 degrees in one end. When test fitting the pins and the grab screws, I realized that uh, the nut to secure the grab screws are a little bit too thick. The head is also a little bit too square, so I have to do something about that. Maybe put it in the lathe and uh, make it a little bit rounder. To make the nuts a little bit uh, less thick, I placed a 3mm screw in the collar chuck and uh, yeah, just uh, made the nut a little bit thinner. Now we have to drill a little hole in uh, the sliding part of the head, uh, make place for a post rod and uh, <laughs> drilling a 3mm hole in the head and uh, using a tapered dreamer to fit the head to the shaft. Tape a pin in place, it's easy to mount the head in the lathe and uh, make it a little bit rounder. I'm using a 45 degree carbide uh, uh, end mill to count for the corners of the head and the sliding part. And when I do this, I realize that the uh, head is still a little bit too square. So I probably have to put it in the lathe again and uh, make it a little bit more round. Just doing a cosmetic milling on the body so it uh, looks a little bit nicer when it uh, is mounted to the Toe post. And now back to the lathe and uh, turn the head a little bit rounder.
Now it's time for the internal and external tool holder. I place the square piece in the four jaw chuck and turn down both ends to 12 mm. Taking a light cut on all four sides to make the piece a little bit smoother. Just cutting it in two parts. Now drilling and reaming a 6 mm hole in the tool holder. It's a 7 degree angle. I place the pin in the 7 degree hole, put it in a lathe and uh, camfered the tool holder 15 degrees. I used the 6mm carbide bar to make the cutting tool. Uh, first I just grind a flat area so the grub screw will have something to grip on. And then, uh, well, just uh, grinding all the angles and uh, side reliefs. That's needed for the tool bit. It will be interesting to make a test cut with this, so we'll see if we can produce a nice ball. 